what's up everybody this is pen and welcome back to the channel all right so it's after workflow i got the 1 p.m to 9 30 shift so i decided to make some more content for the channel now this is by you know viewer requests um and once again you know with the viewers you know i, I get i'm getting a lot more comments you know than usually as of late so i will definitely put an effort into putting the viewer's name in the description but the viewer wanted to see my movie library it was on the latest episode of pen talks um so definitely check that out on my channel um it started as a premiere but it should be a video like vod things like that so i start off with itunes first so this is the apple tv 4k you definitely have to watch my videos in chronological order so that you can understand how I got to this point and why this is the direction that I'm taking. So I digress. Let's get into it. All right. So this is iTunes. Let me go back. So this is uh, Apple's, you know, digital storefront where you can go in and purchase movies. Um they have a lot of content on here basically at any time uh with over well over i imagine a hundred k titles you know worth of films um at any given moment the library itself or the store is your library because you're only what between five dollars and 25 dollars away from purchasing pressing play and starting some content so I get things on sales and all that, you know, I'm, I'm all digital, things like that. Now, this is just one of the ways that I'm viewing my content and I've been on here quite a bit lately. So recently I purchased 32 films. I've been just racking up. I've been racking up. Now, this isn't uh, all of my library that I have access to. And when I say access to, I'm talking about like on the cloud and things like that. Um, I use MB and I use Infuse. Those are not digital storefronts. Those are clients or players in this aspect where I'm able to stream from the cloud directly to this device. So, and I know that I'm missing some collections, things like that. I'll go back and clean it up a little bit later. This isn't my main go-to, but I am going to be investing in this because I have a feeling because Apple went lossless with the music. You know, they got the Adobe Atmos, Spatial Audio, lossless, things like that. It's only going to be a matter of time until they do that for the TV shows and the movie experience as well on the Apple TV 4K. So what I'm doing is, you know, I'm just going in and collecting favorites, things that I've watched, things that I like, things that I haven't seen. And some, a lot of this is on deals. You know, the movies are cheap these days and cheaper than physical media. And um, I have a method for that. I'll be showing that shortly. To where basically I can come in here, you know, watch some content. I got to check out, it's, it's content in here that I haven't even seen yet, like Smile, for example. So, you know, seeing Sucker Punch uh, on the Dune. And what's cool about this one is that Apple actually gives you the 4K Dolby Vision of Sucker Punch, the extended cut. But the highest quality available on this is just 1080p Blu-ray. So... I found that interesting that Apple um, got the latest update or files from the studio themselves and they got the 4K Adobe Vision right on iTunes. That's something that uh, you won't be able to get on a physical disc. So just a heads up. And I've seen Venom. Okay, so it's crazy. I've seen um, where I rewatched. Uh, cause you know, I had like four days off, things like that. After I beat Spider-Man too, I was chilling, you know, in a media room and, um, I seen Venom on iTunes rewatch 
I seen this, the first time I seen this was on a Hisense UAG 4K Remux through MB. Then I seen it again through iTunes on here. Um, Gray Sparing still. Then I seen Venom, Let There Be Carnage again. I seen that, the 4K Remux on MB. But I did some scenes through here. And it's comparable in terms of picture quality. It's comparable. Through here, it's not going to be the best, but iTunes will give you consistency. And in terms of a digital content provider, they do deliver uh, these uh, the highest bit rate in terms of a digital video when we are talking about um, before it hits the disc. You know, so amongst the other competitors like Amazon, Vudu, Movies Anywhere, things like that. You know, Apple have stayed consistent. Definitely. Um, in the past few years so that's my movie library on itunes it's still growing you know i plan on having lots of titles in this you know a thousand plus two thousand plus the sales is crazy in it to where i have to hold myself back from buying the content because <laughs> it's not even my main application so it's just kind of crazy like I, I gotta i seen the equalizer saw that in theater seen that in theater things like that so for example let me just show this the equalizer three movie collection is 35 bucks to me that's a sweet deal because you get three movies but i also have these movies elsewhere so that's what i'm going to show here um let me back out all right so now we are going to be going to mb so MB is a media server slash client application where you're able to watch your movies, your TV shows, you know, listen to music if you wish, audio books, things of that nature. I just keep it within the TV and movie realm, but it definitely have some nice options and some flexibility, things like that. So I'm going to go into it. Um, you guys can see what I'm watching, things like that. Um, still haven't finished P-Valley. I've seen episode five of season two, like the other night. I have to finish this. And I did start My Hero Academia. I just wanted to see what the first episode was going to be like. Most likely what's going to happen is that I'm going to finish P-Valley first since I'm near the end of this. Then I'll go back to my anime and then I'll transition back to my FBI's because I have been watching these consistently as well. And when Power Book 4 Season 2 ends, I'm going to binge watch this. I did see a couple of episodes when they first came out, but I held off because I really want to see a show like this back to back. So, you know, that's my watch list. You see, most of it's just live action stuff. I got one anime in here. And, um, you know, this is what I'm rocking. So, of course, I got content and latest. You know, this is just the latest that came out. Uh, this is a hands-off experience. The only thing I have to do is turn on the television, go to the application, go to the content, and press play. MB is good for 4K content and below. Um, in my experience, in my case on the Apple, I have it set up perfectly for that. And I'm using Infuse for the 4K content because it plays that back flawlessly, no hiccups. So, uh, do I have an exact list? Like the number wise, it's up there. Um... But yeah, but this is the movies. I have it set up to where it don't show the title or the year. You just see the poster art. And as you scroll, you know, that header, it sort of um, goes away. So this is sort of similar to my Dune and Zadu experience on an Apple TV with Envy um, with the poster. And I think on the Android TVOS version of Envy, you can't have all this stuff go away. You, you got to have something going on. So... This is more cleaner um, for me, you know, this is just for 1080p content, 720p, if that's even on here. 
anime, you know, TV shows that's not in HDR, Adobe Vision, because um, MB as a client application itself on an Apple TV, at least the last time I checked it, does it natively support HDR or Adobe Vision content? Now, right now, I'm forcing my Apple TV to display in Adobe Vision. So naturally, if I will play something, even like an anime, for example, that's going to be the output, but that's not what it does natively. So that's something that they're going to have to work on, perhaps bring an update, and all would be well. So let me see. I'll, I'll click on something. Oh, Afro Samurai. So this is something that I seen back in the day. So this is the 1080p VC1, Dolby True HD, things like that. Got the cast and crew down below. Trailers, uh, favorite, select the titles more. You know, come on here and play the content, things like that. Nothing crazy. But I'll be in here all day, probably, if I'm just in this one category, which is the movies. So lots of content. Lots, lots of content. Uh, I do TV shows. I won't show everything, um, only because I don't want this to be like in a long video. But this is movies, kids, regular TV shows, movies, anime, um, TV show kids. So I'll show TV shows, anime, for example. So here, um, this anime content. Now I know for this one. This is over like uh, 3K in terms of anime shows. So for you anime fans out there, and I'm definitely one of them. Been watching it since I was a little boy myself. You know, this is a real treat to me. I've been doing a cloud thing for the past three years. It just works out better for me. Um, I invested in my network. So that's a big part of it as well. Yeah, so like this is one of the series that I've rewatched. Uh, cool series. This is another one here. So yeah, so my my library is is definitely like up there now. The infused example is just for the 4K content. And that is on a separate cloud versus MB. So that's a whole different beast. Um, whole different beast. I got Movies Kids. I'll show this. So maybe just once I gather all the stats, I can put it in the description after I, you know, edit this together and render it. If that's something that some of y'all would be interested in, but... I got content for days, essentially. Literally. I even I even got stuff that me personally I'm not gonna watch, but maybe if my nieces, you know, come over or cousins, things like that, um, you know, they can be into this stuff. But this is a hands off server. Um I don't I haven't been in the kids category about over a year. I'll see some Batman every now and then, but, you know, I'm mostly in the 4K or in the anime or watching, you know, TV show, live action, things like that. So, but yeah, but let's move on to the final application. Um, and that is Infuse. All right. So this allows me both locally and cloud to have a nice front-end presentation uh, for back-end content, such as a media server, such as Plex, MB, or Jellyfin. And this is utilizing the cloud on the Jellyfin's end. So a lot of this stuff is going to be syncing. Matter of fact, I'll go here. I'll go here. And I'll go to library so you can see this on camera. 
So you see, so that's updated in real time. So movies, you know, 8,647. TV episodes, 39,275. You can see, Jolly Fan, this is literally infused on steroids. Like literally. Um, I haven't seen anybody push it to the capability that I am. And um, I'm getting it, you know. Just 4K content, that's it. Leave everything, leave the infuse for 4K and have everything else be on MB and then use iTunes as well. So that's all cloud. Those are all three cloud applications. None of it is hosted locally. That's why in my video on Pen Talks, I talked about deleting like multiple terabytes of storage. It was eight terabytes exact and some change and how I'm not at a loss because I got content set up in the cloud, multiple backups upon backups. And um, what's cool about this is that I don't have to necessarily wait for this to finish scanning if I want to watch something. What I notice is that Infuse will let you play your content. And then once you exit out, it's going to continue to scan. Now, I have a 128 gig model. And this is taking up 1.7 gigs. So I don't know how that will look a year from now, but I'm going to put it through its pace and I'm going to test it. So while that's going in the background, let's get into some content. So Infuse is a nice front end. It is lacking on some navigational features that can make it easier. But most people, I would imagine, would just use their genres. They build genres for the movies and the TV shows. That's one thing that I do like from them. Um, I'm going to go to movies. Let's go to animation. So this gives you a clean poster wall as well. Um, you know, the posters are more on the larger size of the things. Uh, I wish they had the ability to, you know, make them smaller. You know, just add some features in. But you can see basically three rows, essentially. You just keep scrolling. Need some work, but this is nice. Uh, the, the larger the screen you have, the prettier it looks. I will say that. So let's go into something. Um, this is just animation. So Bray, for example. So this is the 4K HDR True HD right down below got the hdr10 fallback and it's dolby vision compatible and got a backup all right so i'm just making that known on what that is it's nice i mean i'm using this for 4k content so these are one-to-one -one rips of what you will see on a physical disc and I'm up mixing the sound to Adobe Surround. So it's using all my speakers and my configuration and turn the volume up depending on the source and just sit back and relax. You know, none of this is locally maintained. All of this in a cloud. Um, put the work in a few years back, got the knowledge, got the resources able to set things up to where I'm able to relax and not have to worry about certain stuff. So this works for me and um, I've been successful with it and I'm going to continue to be successful with it. Things like that. I mean, I believe that's all the ice ages. I, I don't know, but I got plenty here. <laughs> Incredibles. So. So yeah, content for days. Um, so you know, uh, that's just something that I got going on in the background. Uh, let me know what y'all guys think down in the comments. This is Penn signing out. Thank you for watching and peace out.